Hey everybody! Happy Friday! This thing's in the way. <laughs> That's where I switch my camera over. It's in the way. Whatever. Hi guys! Happy Friday! Hopefully you guys have had a good week. It's Friday right before Christmas break for my kids. Let's see, am I frozen? I'm looking like I'm frozen on my Facebook. Am I frozen? Hello, good, I see you guys jumping on. Let me know if, I, if you can see me, because I'm seeing me as frozen. Today, we are, we are <laughs> trying to figure out if I'm not frozen or not. Um, today, we're gonna do storybook gnomes, or kindest gnomes, I guess, is what they're called. Snowbook gnomes is the suite of products. We're gonna do this. Um, you guys who are telling me hello, tell me. Am I frozen on your end? Because on my end, I'm totally frozen. Even when I X out and I come back and then, oh, and then it looks like I'm not even there. I'm still frozen. I'm good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna ignore it then. Um, I am just gonna get started because I have a lot of things to show you. I've, you guys have been sending me some adorable cards and some treats and I just wanted to share them all today. I've been saving them all for today. Um, first, before I do that, the Club Create um, for January is the uh, Share a Milkshake from the new upcoming spring catalog. Um, the, if you're waiting for the PDF only option, it is available in my store. Click the PDF, um, the shop link or the shop tab at the top of my blog. And there is a link there that says um, PDF store, I believe. I'm just going to make sure today's post went up. For some reason this week, it's like I cannot get the posts to go up right. I cannot get the right picture. Okay, good. It's up. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so let me just start by showing you guys some of these amazing things. I got a lot of cards, and I just have to show you guys what beautiful artist you are. This one is from Nina. I got a bunch today, like seven today, including this one. Nina, very beautiful poinsettias are very popular. This one I love um, using the Fitting Florets bundle from uh, Vicki. Oh, Vicki. Hello, Vicki. Oh, and hey, I see that she's on here. I love the Christmas uh, red with the frame. For some reason, I always cut a white frame, but I love it in red. I need to remember to use it in a different color. This one is from Macon. Uh, she used that um, Buffalo Check DSP from a few years ago. Forgot about that paper. I loved it. Here's another poinsettia, 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 however you want to say it, from, um, is this from Carmen? Let me see. Yes, Carmen, beautiful. That paper sold out before I could even open my pack. Like I had a pack and then it, it like sold out. I don't know, I never got to use it. So beautiful, very nice. This is a fun card from Deb. It's a fun fold. Get it? A fun card. Fun fold. Oh wait, I didn't even go all the way out like that. Isn't that neat? Yes, I'm going to put that in my fun fold pile for inspiration. Thank you, Deb. I love the colors on this one. This is from um, Kathy. I love the, the when you use pink with green for Christmas. I just really love it. And that's that um, celebrate everything designer series paper the black and white trees she colored it looks like that is parakeet party very cute here's another one and it um tabitha had a cute little sticker on the back that said thank you postal workers i thought that was sweet see look at the little sticker on the back how cute tabitha very cute thank you so so much um let's see here is another one with the sweet candy canes this is from, I didn't look, Tony. Love it. Green candy cane works just as well as a red candy cane. This one is from Gina. I think I saw Gina on here. Gina, you always send me a gift. Thank you, Gina. She sent me a gift card. And believe me, I use them. Thank you very much. I'm gonna set that over here so I don't lose it. Um, here is one from Kathy Crow. It is a long and skinny card. We call those slimline cards with the barn. Um, beautiful. 
I have to look at all it. There's a little snowman, little deer. She brought in, what was that stamp set called? Snow, snowfall, maybe? It was a stamp set that had like the um, swishes. I can't even remember, but that's beautiful. And she used the wreath up there on the barn, cute. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Um, this one is from Carla. Carla, you and your husband and my husband have the same first name. Um, Carla, yep. Isn't that pretty? Another non-traditional colors. Um, that purpley color. I really like that. And those pine cones. So cute. Um, let's see. This one is from oh, and it has that border dye. So pretty. Um who is this from? Vickery. Oh, the Vickery family. Beth? Yeah, Beth. Her, her fa This must be her family card because they all signed it. I love it. And isn't that beautiful right there? Um, this one is from Kelly. Cute little fun fold. Look. And I like it because you don't have to write a lot. <laughs> it's real small. Just a little tiny bit of writing. She did a lot of writing. Kelly, you did a lot of writing. You fit a lot in there. That's really cute. Um, okay, this one is has something extra in it. This is from Karen. And Karen, look at this. This card is so cute. It's not necessarily a Christmas card, but um, she said that I had mentioned I always like Christmas using Christmas tags, and she says she loves making them. So she sent me a card, which is so stinking cute. But then she sent me these gorgeous gift tags that you better believe I will be using. The little sheet. Very cute. It says Merry Christmas to you. And a shark. That one's very cute. It says, I'm dreaming of a great white Christmas. Okay, that is cute. Um, here is one. Oh my gosh, look at the little kangaroo tag. Oh my gosh, I would never have thought to do it like that, but it's perfect. Very cute. Um, Here's another one, the snail. Oh, I loved all these spring uh, stamp sets we had. Um, some little gifts. I loved that set. Oh, and I really like this one. Ooh, that's a lot of work, gluing those on, those letters. Very cute. Ooh, and this one, deck the halls in all white. Very sophisticated. And then one more, little um, bows, gift bows. So thank you so much. I loved that, Karen. I will definitely be using those. That's a nice gift to give somebody. Gift tags. It is. And cards. It is. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of cards, you guys. We make a lot. So don't hesitate to uh, give them as gifts, sets of things. This is from Vicki, and it had a special treat in it. The card is beautiful. And then inside, she made this little ornament. I made an ornament with one of these wood slices years ago. I need to remember that. That's so fun. You can get these packages of these at the craft store, but you can also order them on Etsy from people that cut them in themselves, or you may be somebody who cuts them yourself at, at your place. Um, let me see, I my iPad turned off. Let me make sure that I'm still live and nothing is happening because I was frozen for a while. Okay, good, there, I see myself now. Okay, good. Um, this one, another, you guys love that poinsettia stuff. I wish I had used it. Karen, another Karen. Thank you. Gorgeous. This one is from Michelle. Michelle, I just got this one today. Um, it's very pretty. I love the sweet gingerbread. Why did it have to sell out? We're actually, no, we're not using it today, but I adapted. You'll see. I adapted the gnome to make a gingerbread gnome. Um, this card is gorgeous and I believe this features new stuff. This came from my downline, Nicole, and it's not a Christmas card, but look how gorgeous that is. Nicole, thank you, that is stunning. I believe that's a new stamp set, if I remember correctly. I gotta set that over here for the spring so I have it for inspiration. Um, Mary Alice, I love the simplicity of this card. It's got embossing. And you could make a bunch of these real quick, Mary Alice, I bet you did. This is a great design on this card. Um, this one is fun. This looks like a party, this card, from Joanne. I just opened it. I loved it. I love the colors. I liked how the paper was kind of wonky. Very cute, Joanne. I love it. I love when you guys stamp the insides, too. Um, this one is from Kelly. Very pretty. Again, 
Lots of persnickety dies. <laughs> Gotta have a steady hand or use your adhesive sheets. Very pretty. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna flip you guys. I have a couple other things, but I wanna flip you so you can see them. You know what, first of all, did you guys see this guy right here? This is what Chris sent me. And if you can see this little guy right here, Patricia gave me this in Arlington. So look, now they're sitting together. This guy is so tall and funny. Um, I was shocked when I got him. And then when Patricia gave me that one in Arlington, I was so touched. So you guys know me so well. So these guys are sitting together over there. And she sent me a card. Um, and she said, I know it's not stamping up, but I thought you would like it. And look at it. <laughs> yep. I love it. You are right. Um, let's see. Okay, I'll show you this one too before I turn around. This is from, this one came today too from um, Mary Rita. Look at this. She took the paper pumpkin tag, put on a card, and it looks really fancy. It's glittery, very fancy. And she gave me a cute little ornament. Also, you know, did I must have told you guys I like gingham <laughs> at some point. <laughs> you guys know me so well. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys around. I have a couple of other things, but I think it would be better if I showed you when I turn the camera around. So give me just a second. Let's see if I can do this. I dropped the phone as I was putting you guys up a minute ago, which did not go well. I had to drop my middle daughter off at work. She had to work at 2.15. And I was like, well, you're going to have to go early. Sorry, friend. I got to be live at two o'clock and she just works literally like, I don't know, three miles from here and she works at a coffee shop. So she could go in and just drink her coffee and chill. She was fine. But I was kind of in, in like a frantic pa uh, panic to get back on time. And I, I literally got back like three minutes before we went live. Okay. This is cute. This was from my uh, downline, Christy. Christy, thank you so much. This little box. Look how she did this. That is really clever. I'm going to have to figure out how Christy did that because I was really thought that was really cool. So when you fold that in, it goes in like that. Very cool. And then one of our little striped gift bags. And women empowering women. I absolutely love that. I'm hanging that on my tree. I want my girls to see that cute little card, a little three by three card. I don't make enough of those. So very cute. Thank you, Christy. Um, okay, now hopefully what happens, you guys, is I get stuff mixed up, but I don't think, I hopefully I didn't get this mixed up. Let me make sure, um, from Linda. Okay, yeah, Linda sent me this card. Very sweet, congratulating me on my million dollar stamp set. Cactus, of course, because my stamp set has cactus in it. And then she said she found this and she couldn't resist my stamp set. You guys have seen my stamp set, right? Um, it has a taco, an avocado, a cactus, a pinata, like Mexican food theme. And so she found this. She made this little box for it. And look, it's a little avocado stuffy. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, so he's going to be sitting over there on my shelf too. He's very cute. Linda, that was very, very thoughtful. Thank you very much. Um, but that's not it. I got some other adorable things. This one came today. Today. And first, look at the gorgeous card. This is gorgeous. And look, we're using that folder today. I just always think about doing it on white, but it looks good on green. This is from Vicky. And Vicky, this was just such a fun and unique gift. It's called a retro radio. And look at it. And it has like a little USB. You probably just pair it to your phone. Look how cute. She said, I thought this would look good in your new studio. Yes, it absolutely will. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. It is so stinking cute. So thank you. Wow, that's just very thoughtful. You guys, so thoughtful. Y'all, this is, this is the best. These are the best Christmas presents I, I get because my husband, I just send him links and I say, here, buy these shoes. Here, buy this, these leggings, and then I know what I'm getting. So for you guys to send me surprises, it's very nice. Um, this came from Laura. She is on my team. She's not my direct downline, but she does live here in San Antonio. And she is a gorgeous stamper. Look at that card. It. I thought it was a shaker, but it's not. And I wouldn't have thought to put that like it's behind glass, but it's 
beautiful. I'm going to have to remember that. But look what she sent me. She said she likes to decorate her tree. She likes to get ornaments with things that remind her of events and things that happen during the year. And hello. I love it. Look, it even has the mustache and the smiley face. So, Laura, you, I don't know where you got this, but these are amazing. Thank you so, so much. And now I feel bad because I'm not thoughtful and I have been so busy the last few weeks that I haven't done anything thoughtful and I need to, I need to take a, a, uh, clue from you guys. Um, Pam sent me these a while ago. Um, and I just hadn't shown you guys. Um, she saw the sign. She said she had to get it for me. Life happens. Tacos help. I thought that was so funny. And then the taco socks, um, Pam, you know, I love it. So fun. And then last but not least, um, Anne Marie, who is my downline, you guys probably know Anne Marie. She's also a demonstrator. She has an awesome, um, blog, you probably have watched some of her life. She um, brought this over the other day and left it on my porch. And she, I gave her, I had an extra Taco Fiesta stamp set. And it was her birthday during our team meeting, so I gave it to her. And look what she made. Look how cute with my Taco Fiesta stamp set. Isn't that so cute? You might have seen this card online. She posted it, a, I don't know, a week or two ago. Um, and then look at this beautiful Christmas card. This is, she signed it from Anne Marie, from her and her husband. So I'm guessing these are her Christmas cards. Gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. So beautiful. And then um, she, Erin Condren does the, um, you know, like the planners and stuff. And she makes the cutest stuff. And look, she, this little bracelet, you are a star, shine on. I thought that was so sweet. Also, she found taco socks for me. I'm going to have to wear my taco socks. And then just this whole cute little like mini charcuterie. It's just the cutest with, I, I guess this is like a, a towel that goes with it. And then recipe, a recipe thing. It's just such a nice little like thoughtful box of goodies. So Anne-Marie, thank you very much. I have some thank you notes to write, don't I? That's what I'll be doing. That's what I'll be doing next week. Okay. So we have made it to the bottom of that pile. Um, let me see. I want to remind you that I have some freebies. I'm not doing make and takes this week like I normally do. Um, but I'm doing free with a $50 purchase. Anytime between the 13th and Christmas Eve, anybody who orders a minimum of $50, I'm going to send you an embellishment, little embellishment pack in the new year or maybe at the end of December when I come back into the office. If you spend $70, your embellishment pack will be in a pink buckaroo zipper bag. All right. And if you spend $100, you will also get a pop-up trash can. Isn't that just adorable? I love these. So you have until Christmas Eve. I know lots of you ordered yesterday for free shipping, which was awesome, wasn't it? Um, but if you think of something else, or maybe you get some money for Christmas and you want to shop, um, use the host code and I will send you those as a thank you from me. Okay. So day 12 of 12 days of Christmas. We have made it. I can't lie. I'm glad we're here. <laughs> it has been an insane three weeks. I got club create mailed out today. All my club create members went out early today. Um, and so then today I'm finished finished packing up my calendar class that will go out on Monday. Um, and then in the middle of that, I was doing all this Facebook stuff and mom taxi, like I'm about sick of driving these kids everywhere. Um, it seems the last two weeks they have needed rides to and from school, to and from games, to and from here, there, there. And that just, you know, breaks up your work time. So it has been an insane couple of weeks. I'm ready for some rest. So today is our last day. Um, originally on the schedule, we had sweetest or the sweet gingerbread, but that sold out. So I scratched that and I asked you guys on Wednesday and got lots of votes for the kindest gnomes. So that's what we're doing today. And I am also bringing in a couple of the other things I had mentioned too, um, for our projects. Um, prizes. So I have a new giveaway every day for the last 12 days. Um, day 10 is Christine. Fre 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 Freccia? 
Christine, I butchered that. Fratchia, Christine, I have your mailing address anyway, but um, she left her mailing address. When you enter to win, you leave it there for me in case I don't have it. She won the sweet candy cane bundle. And then yesterday is Stacy Bianchi. Bianchi, uh, you know, I, in my head it sounds right, but then when I say it out loud, I'm like, oh God, they're cringing. I'm not saying their names right. Um, Stacy, you're getting the framed florets bundle. Now, there is a giveaway for today, but I don't know what the prize is. Um, I think it's going to be something from the spring catalog. I won't give it away until our next Facebook Live, which will be the first Friday in January. So make sure you go to today's blog post, scroll down, and you will find um, a little giveaway under the last supply list and just enter to win. And I ask, the, today's question is, which of our 12 days projects have been your favorite? Here's a little review. We did the barn. We did North Pole Mischief. We did um, Sweet Candy Canes. I don't know where the other card to that is. Here it is, Sweet Candy Canes. We did, um, now I can't even remember that what they're called, All Bundled Up. We did uh, Joyful Flurry. Those may be my favorite. Um, we did Handmade Wishes, which a lot of these are sold out now. It's probably all of us buying all of these things, right? I love these too. Um, then let's see, we did Regal Reindeer, which was a real stretch for me. That and the barn were, were difficult for me because they're not my typical style, but I ended up liking what we did. Um, we did Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. And I don't remember, oh yeah, it was this one. We're gonna make this guy again today. I just realized <laughs> we're making pretty much exactly the same, but we're doing something different to him. But there's the jingle, jingle, jingle. And then we did window wishes. And we did Christmas banners. That was the first day, day one. And we did the Christmas Scotty. So if you have missed any of these, Today's blog post has the link for all the 12 days, okay? So if you're looking for inspiration, and they are Christmas projects, but they can always be adapted to non-Christmas projects if you're looking for an idea for something, for whatever. Um, you can always adapt them so that they are not Christmas projects. Okay, hold on. Let me get a drink real quick. <sighs> Thirsty. Okay, my table is clear. We are ready. The first card that we're going to do is very easy. I'm telling you guys today, I just wanted the easy button. Are you guys there? You just want the easy button now? Um, I'm ready for just the easy button. I Tying up loose ends. I told you guys we've been making gift card holders all week. because <laughs> The kids have been handing out gift card holders and everything. Dinner, we had... Uh, basically charcuterie and fondue last night, just throwing stuff together with what we have. So try, you know, I'm just trying to simplify. That sounds fancy, but it wasn't. It was just cut up cheese and ham and toasted bread. That's all it was. Um, okay, so I want you to look what we did with this guy. Easy peasy. This actually doesn't use any of the kindest gnome stamps. I pulled in the sentiment from the brightest glow, tis the season. And I gave him antlers. This is that other set that I said we did not use at all. And I hate that we didn't use it because it's so cute. And I believe it is still available. Um, last I checked, it's on page 61, design a treat bundle. And the little antlers, the, this is the size of the box. It's very tiny. A Hershey Kiss fits in here or a, uh, like a Reese's, a small Reese's peanut butter cup. And just look how cute that is. So if you have looked, overlooked this, you need to go back and take a look because it's very cute. We've got, you know, um, ears for different seasons, Easter bunny. They also have the numbers where you can make advent calendar. And it's very easy to put together. So just a little plug for that. We're not making the box today, but we are going to put those little reindeer antlers on our gnome. Um, I know the kids are all wearing those <laughs> headbands, those Christmas headbands right now um, at school. 
and maybe at, at work too, I'm sure they're wearing them. And I thought our little gnome, he needs some um, antler, an antler headband. Okay, let's put our little guy together and give him some time to dry. I have cut out a real red hat. Um, I cut out his little pants from Designer Series Paper, the sweetest Christmas DSP. Um, his beard is just basic white. And you have to be real careful where you put your adhesive because it they don't overlap a whole lot. Um, put that there, right there. And then his little nose can go right there. The gnome dies are carrying over. There is another stamp set in the spring catalog that has the gnomes. It goes with the gnomes dies. So the gnome, kindest gnome stamp set is retiring, but the gnome dies are not. They're carrying over. How cute is he with the little antlers? They're carrying over for the stamp set. You know what? I may have it. Let me see if I can show you guys. If I can just locate it really quickly. Um, maybe I don't have it. I thought I ordered it. Okay. Well, maybe not. I thought I had it. Darn it. Um, it's cute. If you haven't seen the catalog yet, it's very cute. All right, we're going to set him aside and then we're just going to put this card together really fast. It's super easy. Um, I have candy, a uh, sweetest, um, sweetest Christmas again, DSP. And I know it's sold out, but I have a lot of it. So we're using it up. You can use any paper you want. You could even just use cardstock. Um, here's a piece of basic white that I have embossed with the win um, woodland now I forgot the name whimsical woodland embossing folder which I believe is on sale right now for like four bucks it's really cheap um so if you haven't gotten it you should get it and I'm matting them both in red we'll put this one on the basic white card base the measurements are over on my blog today pinkbuckaroo.com um I will update this post when I'm done with a direct link to my blog. All right, and we're just gonna put these on here like that, kind of offset. Now, the sentiment, I haven't even put the sticker on the back. So I had cut out two of these because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to stamp it twice. This is a banner from Hey, that's not bad. Let's try it again just to see which one's better because it's a little bit high. This is a banner from Stylus Shapes. Oh, that one is better. Um, the Stylus Shape. Stylish Shape dies. And we'll put that right there. Now let's bring back our little gnome. And... Put him kind of over offset a little bit to the left. And then I have some iridescent rhinestones because, you know, every card needs a little bit of bling. Maybe it's like snowflakes or something. And then I added Wink of Stella. Do I have my Wink of Stella here? Of course not. Let's see if I can locate it. Um, yes, I just opened a new Wink of Stella yesterday. So then I'm just going to add some glitter to his beard. And there we have it. Tis the season. Easy. That's an easy card for you. What do you guys think? I like him. I like him a lot. He's very cute. Okay. So there's our easy project for today. The next project, it's not hard, but it's going to take a little bit more brain power than this one did. Okay. You guys ask me all the time, how do I know, you know, how to make a box? How can I make a box for this? Can you figure out the measurements for me to make a box for such and such. So I did this last year and I thought I would do it again this year, but we're gonna do a different kind of box, all right? 
last year, if you go back, search my YouTube channel, how to make a box, you'll find the box is like, like this box, right? With a bottom and a lid. That's the kind of box um, we had last year. Well, this year we're going to make a box that opens on the top like, well, I don't want to untie it because it's so cute, but it, you know, it opens up on the top. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do the measurements. I really wanted to use these gingerbread cookies. Did you guys guess that that's what was in here? And so I thought, let's make a box with the gingerbread cookies. Hold on. Somebody's out here. Oh my God. Oh, somebody's here. Someone is at the front door. <laughs> I can't wait till my new house when I'm not right by the front door. Let me see if they're leaving. I think they're leaving. Oh yeah. Okay. It was, well, are they leaving? Are they waiting for me to answer the door? Nope, they're leaving. Okay. Phew. Sometimes they wait. I don't know. Okay, back to where we were. You are going to want grid paper. I mean, I guess you could do this without grid paper, but this is how I do it, okay? I want to put, I want to make a box that will hold two of these. So I set them right in the middle of my grid paper. And this has a lot of extra packaging, so I know that I don't necessarily have to make it that big because they will squish down a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line how wide it is. All right, and you want to go just a little bit wider so that, you know, you have a little bit of wiggle room. Then I'm going to draw a line up those sides. Okay, I'm going to squish it down a little bit so that we don't have a box too big and we'll do it about right there. Okay. So there's your box. Let's see what size that came to. Three, and it should be if I did it the same. Four and a half. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to get paper. Darn it. I forgot to get paper. I did four on this one. Let's shorten it because it really doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be that, that big. This one's just deceptive because it has all that you know, that stuff. So see, you want to look, will it fit in that square? Yes, it will. All right. Now the next part are the sides right here. How deep does your box need to be? So I take my ruler and I put my pencil right here and then I see where I'm at. So one and a fourth is how really, no, I take the back. It's about, it's about one and one sixteenth, but we want to be generous you you don't want your box to be like super tight so i'm just going to say one and a fourth so then we need to have two sides on either one on either side of this that is one and a fourth okay so one and a fourth one and a fourth so now we pretty much know all the measurements we need to repeat this side because see we have the side the front the side, and now we need the back side. So it's gonna be exactly the same, right? It's gonna be three inches. And then the last thing, that's way more than three inches. I was trying to eyeball it. Oh, actually it's not. Actually, it was really good. Um, the last thing you need to do is put a little tab over there on the end so that you can adhere it to that side. So then I, it doesn't matter which side you put it on, but I know in my original plans, I put it over here half inch two squares is half an inch okay so now we've got this right but if we just do that we don't have anything you know it's open on the top and the bottom we need the top and the bottom so you want it to be this wide so now you're just going to measure up one and a fourth up on the top and the bottom and go all the way across and then do the same thing down here, one and a fourth, all the way across, okay? So now this is a half half an inch. I like to write in the measurements to help me remember. Um, this part right here we said was four inches. This is one and a fourth and one and a fourth. Now, here comes your math. You have to add some fractions or just get your ruler 
and say, okay, this is six and a half this way, right? And then this is nine this way, okay? So nine and six and a half. So I have our piece of, let me, let me move some of this stuff. I have our piece of real red over here. Of course, it's on the very bottom. Why I do that, I don't know. I always put the things I need first on the very bottom. And I forgot the designer series paper. And I am probably gonna have to use something else because I've already packed that paper away. Um, that's what happens when you start packing things up too early. I was gonna start packing away Christmas and moving in my spring catalog things. Okay, so let's cut this down. What did we need? Nine by six, right? So you have to do six on this side because this side doesn't go up to, oh, was it six and a half? Ah, oh, it was six and a half. Okay, let me get another piece. Six and a half. This is how box making goes. Very rarely do I get it right on the first try. I usually have to try and then put it together and figure out what's wrong and then fix it and do it again. Or I measure wrong like I just did. So nine by six and a half, okay? All right, so now put it on your Simply Scored or you can use a trimmer, whichever you prefer. And let's look at what, what we need to measure or where we need to score. So the first section over here has to be three inches. And then we need the next section to be one and a fourth. And then three more inches, so that would be one, two, three. And then one and a fourth, which would be right there. Okay, I'm not seeing any comments. And then turn, and we're gonna do one and a fourth on each side. One and a fourth, one and a fourth. Like that. Does that make sense to you guys? I mean, how I traced it, measured it. I hope that makes sense. This, you, you can make a box like this for most things. Um, and if you want it to have a lip, like that one I showed you that Christy made, um, so that it tucks in, I just ha am having mine just fold over. But if you want it to tuck in, you would just add another little half inch up here. Cutting that gets a little trickier but you can still, it's not, you know, it's not too hard. All right, so, but for this box, all you're gonna do, you wanna cut off the rectangles on either side of that half inch side um, tab, and then just snip all your lines. Okay. All right, now adhesive on that skinny tab and then fold over and it should match. If it doesn't match, then you've done something wrong. Go back to, to your measurements. All right, fold these in. You wanna fold the front in last so you'll have rounded edges. And then let's see, here's the true test. Will they fit? They fit like a glove fold 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 and i'm not going to glue that because we're going to tie ribbon now you guys i have to go get that paper so just hold on 10 seconds okay hold on all right was that less than 10 seconds i took it into the other room. I took all my Christmas paper into the other room to sort it and pack it up. Okay, so for the front, remember this is three inches. No, no, three inches by four inches. So you just want to take a quarter inch off of that. So that would be two and three fourths by three and three fourths. This is a different trimmer than the one I had just a second ago. <laughs> oh, it's still up here. I have one that's missing the score thing. That's how I knew. All right, so put your paper 
right here on the front. This is our gingham cottage. That paper hasn't sold out, has it? I think it's still available. I'm so glad you find it helpful, Susan. It is easy in theory. And I will tell you, there are times when I throw four pieces of paper in the trash because I've tried four times and it takes me five tries to get it right. So don't be hard on yourself if that happens. Um, I don't know what this ribbon is I'm using. It's not the ribbon I thought it was. I think this is some retired ribbon, but whatever. It's real red. It'll work. I don't like how it's sheer. I like this one better. I think this is, what does this say? Sh yeah, sheer ribbon. Okay. Now, for our gingerbread man. I wanted him to be a gingerbread I wanted our gnome to be a gingerbread man. Did you guys, like when you saw the box I posted earlier, could you tell that that's what he was? I was hoping it wasn't like, what is that? That's weird. I really wanted to make him a cookie because I was hoping to use the gingerbread set today. All right, embossing buddy. Mm, that's a little too chalky. One of my embossing buddies is extra chalky. All right, we're gonna get him done in white. There's lots of different ways to make boxes. Um, this is one that I go to a lot, this way of making a box. And like I said, you can also do the two separate pieces where they, you know, it's a lid and a bottom. I have that video somewhere about a year ago, um, if you search my YouTube channel. Um, I mean, there are lots of ways. All right, let me heat this up and we'll cut our little cookie out. So are you guys working next week? Those of you that work, do you have days off next week? The kids are off all next week. So I was really hoping to take all of next week off, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm probably have to finish these uh, calendar classes on Monday morning. But other than that, I think I am done for a while. I need a little bit of a break. My house needs a little bit of cleaning. Now, you guys, this is how much of, I'm like, I don't care anymore. Um, see this right here on the top for you? This is the same little dye we used the other day um, for the dog, the paw. It's from the Cracker Dyes. And I couldn't find it. I don't know, I've lost it. So we're not adding that today. <laughs> But it's from the Design a Treat stamp set that goes with that little reindeer box I showed you earlier. Okay, so add your for you, look through your dies, find a little tag die. Hopefully I find it and I haven't lost it permanently, but I could not find it today. Um, I had these dies here somewhere. Here they are. And we're gonna put him like this. Oh, don't slide around. Stay. There we go, our little gingerbread gnome. And now we're just gonna layer up some things. I cut out this snowflake look this is I didn't I haven't even used this I haven't even taken it off the paper there's just not enough time in in the months for me to get to all of it um but this is a really cool die I forget what it's called is it called Christmas lights someone tell me correct me but look you can cut out like a, a snowflake outline or you can put this bad boy in there and get a real intricate snowflake you have options um, okay, we're going to put him dimensionals. Does anybody see the dimensionals? They are right here. Um, we're going to put him in the middle of the snowflake. Right here. And then I've got a heart. Did I cut out too big of a heart? Oh, it's too big. Look, it's supposed to be smaller. All right, I'm going to leave the heart off. I'll fix it afterwards. They're both from Give It a Whirl Dies. Then we're going to put him on a 
stitched circle from the stylish shape dies, the second largest. And then on a scalloped circle, the layering circle dies. Twinkling light dies, thank you, Les. Twinkling light dies. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Patricia, they're really cool. I'm mad at myself that I didn't use them more than I, than I, than I did. And then put that right there. And then put your heart on, put your little um, tag tight with some linen thread, and there you have your box. And I think that's a pretty easy project. Yes? Yeah? Now, I'm gonna challenge you guys over the break to make your own custom size box. I know you've got some something you wanna try. A little Debbie snack, something. I want you to try, okay? Um, I'll put this back up here. If you guys watch the replay and you pause the video, that might help you to kind of visualize. I know visual visual things help me a lot sometimes too. Um, but anyways, that's it. We're done. 12 days went by like that. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much. You've made my 2022 amazing. I appreciate all of you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I will be mostly off the next couple of weeks, um, but I will be back. Um, I will be checking email every few days if you need me. <laughs> Carol says, we can't get little Debbie in Canada anymore. Carol, why not? That's, that is just terrible. That's, that's terrible news. <laughs> that's horrible. You can find some cute things. I bet you have cute things there that we don't have. All right, you guys, I will be back live, not for three weeks, all right? Um, the first Friday of January. Um, get your wish list ready. I've got super cute things to show you in January. All right, you guys, have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye.